Well, let me see if I can talk you through just the basics of the control and signal router. Uh, when you touch a node, that becomes active, and you use the um, encoder. And if it's white, there's no voltage, and the strength of that green gives you a visual strength of the voltage going through. So super bright green is full voltage. Uh, and of course you can touch other nodes, and you can also touch row and shift, and whatever row you choose, it'll light up. You hold shift and you can uh, ch multiple rows in both sections. Uh, if you go to column and hold shift, you can choose columns. And of course, if you go to all and hold shift, you get the whole thing. And you can <laughs> choose to ratchet up all their voltages if you want. And then you can uh, go to no row, no column, no all, and touch one of them, and we're back to where we started. Um, if you hold shift, you can choose multiple nodes to work on at the same time. And then if you are working on a separate node and you decide you like that or don't like it, you can hit undo and it will toggle back. So you can actually use undo as a toggle between what you're working on and what you started with. Uh, there's solo and then there's mute, which is always, of course, helpful if you're working on a column or a row particularly, or something chosen here to just mute or solo. Uh, finally, randomize randomizes the voltage of the selected nodes. It's a pretty fun feature. More on that anon. Deep thanks to Doug Cloder, who designed this and is mentoring me through it. I just want to read something he sent me and look at a smaller version of the patch. Send all five CV outs to oscillators and take all five audio outputs from the oscillators back into the audio inputs. This opens up the oscillators to seven alternative pitch inputs, and of course you can mix and send the audio to five different places. This setup also positions the CSR to compensate for quantization error from quantized CV sources and tracking error in oscillator CV destinations. Each node in the CV matrix pairs a CV source with an oscillator. The attenuation boost amount at the node supplies a span adjustment that can be used to tune the oscillator. Once you have the span on the node where you want it, a long press of the encoder saves the value. The value is then available across all presets with a short click of the encoder. This is basically a unity gain calibration but it makes use of the CSR for pitch particularly useful, and it means you do not lose your tuning when changing presets. In this next patch, I'm going to use three oscillators on A, B, and C, and I'm going to send them out to center left and right on signal outputs one, two, and three to a 206 mixer. In the control voltage section on A, I'm going to have stored random voltage coming into A. I'm going to use B and C for voltages one and two uh, out of the 250, so sequences. And then on D, I will be using quantized random voltage. And CV out four is going to warp on the 259E and timbre on the 261E.